Hi everyone, my name is Ilya. I am a certified professional services engineer. Cloudfresh is a GitLab selected and professional services partner. We are helping organizations get the most from GitLab, managing by advising and implementing high quality technical solutions. And today we are going to see how to install GitLab on a cloud environment provider, such as GCP, AWS, or Azure. First of all, we need to create a virtual machine. The minimal GitLab requirements for a virtual machine with up to 500 users are 4 vCPU and 3.6 GB memory. With up to 1,000 users, 8 vCPU and 7.2 GB memory. Additionally, GitLab recommends adding 2 GB of swap space. My advice is to choose a machine with a minimum of 8 GB of memory and 4 GB of swap space. Basis on our experience, this will guarantee continuous administration because during the reconfiguration process, the system will be working at maximum capacity and could stop the whole process. So let's start. Before I created a virtual machine with Ubuntu 22.04. At first, we are installing and configuring the necessary dependencies. The next step, according to GitLab's recommendations, is the installation of Postfix for sending notification emails. But if you want to use another solution to send emails, you may skip this step and configure an external SMTP server after GitLab has been installed. I will show you how to install it in this example. Such window appears. We are choosing a site. Then we will specify our domain. At this stage, we are installing Postfix without any additional settings. The process of installation may take some time. This process is quicker for me because I am using a powerful instance. After this, we are adding the GitLab package repository and installing the package. As we see, the package is installed. Moving to GitLab's installation. We are installing the Enterprise Edition. It has a free version. I recommend you install the Enterprise Edition from the beginning. If your project grows, you may add paid licenses. In the Community Edition, it's impossible to use paid versions. This stage may take some time. GitLab's logo appears at the end of the installation process. The company says thanks for the installation. After this, we will give access to the server if we didn't do it before. I am adding HTTP, HTTPS and turning on OpenSSH. The next step is to turn on the firewall in your operating system. In my case, it's Ubuntu 22.04. As we see, the status is enable. We installed GitLab on a virtual machine and now we need to connect a domain or IP address to GitLab if we want to use it comfortably. All reconfigurations are supposed to be made in the file GitLab. RB which is located in the folder etc. slash GitLab. After opening this folder we need to specify our domain or IP. In this video, I am demonstrating a case with IP, but for enabling a Let's Encrypt certificate, you will need to specify a domain. After that, we need to save the changes to the file. Reconfiguration is made with the help of such a command. I am using sudo. This moment may take some time. At this stage, we may see the creation of the root user. It's our administrator. We may see its name and hidden password. I will show you where to find the password later. We will need to change it because the folder with a temporary password will be erased in 24 hours. The process of reconfiguration is finished. Let's not forget about our user root and necessity to change the password which you may find in this file. Let's check whether we have access to the GitLab from our IP. Yes, everything is working. We have access. After that, we will enable the Let's Encrypt certificate. In order to do this, we need to return to our folder of configuration GitLab. 
RB and make some changes. It's a very big folder. There will be a lot of different settings. We need to find Let's Encrypt and comment out the necessary lines. The first thing is the usage of Let's Encrypt. Here we will write true to turn it on. After we write our email in single quotation marks. Also, we need to arrange automatic updates of our certificate with time criteria such as hours, minutes, and days of the month. Saving changes to our file. Let's return and run our reconfiguration because otherwise our changes will not be installed. After reconfiguration, we may see a 502 error. Nothing is wrong. We are on the right way. It means installation needs a little bit more time. Let's wait a little bit and enter GitLab again. In a couple of minutes, everything will be ready. Now let's return to our password. It's located in the file etc. GitLab. I am coping password. It's important not to miss any symbols. And we signed in. The next step is changing our password. It's very easy. I am writing password that GitLab generated and creating a new password. GitLab proposes us to arrange sign-up restrictions. By making simple settings, we will prevent external registrations for our account. So even if the person knows our IP or domain, it will be impossible to sign up. We need to open admin area, then click on setting at the bottom, choose general, find singups, and remove the check mark. That's a wrap for today. We'll delve into more settings in our upcoming videos. Thanks for tuning in and may you have a great experience with GitLab. As GitLab professional and select partner, we provide to business organizations the following services. Choosing the most suitable plan. Implementation of GitLab. Data migration from GitHub, Bitbucket, Jenkins, JFrog, and others. If you are already a GitLab user, we will help migrate to a different edition of the GitLab platform from GitLab Self-Managed to GitLab SaaS Cloud, from GitLab SaaS Cloud to GitLab Self-Managed between self-managed environments. If you are using different tools such as GitHub, Bitbucket, Jenkins, JFrog, or others and want to migrate to GitLab, we can do all the work for you or coach and guide your team to deliver it themselves with minimal risk. Value Stream Assessment will help you understand the current state of your software delivery workflow, envision a future state, and provide prescriptive recommendations to achieve the envisioned future state. Putting your organization's value stream on the path to continuous and measurable improvement. Training for your IT team. Integrations of external tools to GitLab. Reduce development costs, increase developer productivity, and take your work with code to the next level. Scan the QR code to contact our team.